mile power top speed two stroke six speed transmission Palmstar mag wheels plenty of hop up potential 75 miles to the gallon no license required check with your local officials What's happening, fellas? Feast your eyes on this kick-ass cult classic. This is a 1982, I was a sophomore in high school when this thing came out 40 years ago. MB5 Honda, Cycle World tested it. It did 22 seconds at 51 miles an hour in the quarter mile, 53 mile per hour top speed, six speed, two cycle, 50 cc engine, Comstar cast mags. They had a disc brake in the front, five inches of front wheel, rear wheel travel, front wheel travel, three and a half in the back, cafe style it, they had said it was the fastest 50 cc production motorcycle they, they had ever tested check out the exhaust on it this one's got a hop up expansion chamber on it um we put a ridiculous amount of time and money into this thing it's gonna rev to the moon tachometer works nice now, it's kind of a funny story behind this thing. This was actually, the good news is, this was donated to us by one of our fans, benefactors, somebody who watches our channel uh, out of Texas. And he shipped it to us in five boxes, dismantled it and shipped it on a bus here, believe it or not, on a Greyhound bus. So when we got the bike, it was completely dismantled. So we said, oh, okay, we're gonna go, we're gonna go, we're gonna go, it was missing a couple parts. It was missing a gas tank. So I went out and spent two, $250 on a get replacement gas tank. The gas tank needed to be cleaned and then uh, sodi bicarbonate sodium blasted. And then we Coswell sealed the interior uh, with the top of the line sealant. So you can see it's sealed beautifully. Um, we put a new fuel pet cock on it. We um, completely sanded it down and repainted it in house and then christy steiger did a brand new set of reproduction graphics on it um i threw up in my mouth a little bit when i saw the work order without the gas tank we had twenty eight hundred dollars in parts and labor into this thing billy blythe spent a couple days on it uh the manic mechanic got involved it was completely dismantled so we said okay let's do it up right the the rear wheel was painted completely black so we put it in the in the soda tank and blasted all the paint off of it and got it down to the original chrome, polished the chrome, put a brand new Michelin tire on the rear, brand new Michelin tire on the front, painted the black on both rims, basically restored the wheels, painted the fork lowers, cleaned the chrome on the forks, cleaned the headlight, remounted the forks, remounted the headlight, remounted the handlebars, uh, just a set of drag bars on there with a new set of grips, um, new set of levers, uh, rebuilt the front brake master cylinder. The brakes work awesome. The engine was out of the frame, so we figured what the heck, we bicarbonate sodium blasted that and cleaned and re repainted the entire motor. We re rebuilt the carburetor. Again, new fuel petcock, carburetor rebuilt. Went through the entire system on this thing, guys. The whole thing's been gone through. So uh, it's got a new air filter on it. Um, it has a new free flow fuel line and petcock. Uh, the ex expansion chamber was cleaned. The aluminum was polished. The uh, it complete chamber was repainted. Again, we sanded down the entire gas tank and primed it, painted it, buffed it out, and put the graphics on it. it has a real nice saddle on it. Um, runs great. The uh, It's a six-speed transmission. It has a center stand. If you come around this side, you'll see it's got a brand new gold chain on it, brand new Michelin tires, new graphics, beautiful piece. Again, this thing's 40 years old. So um very few of these survive today the ones that do uh they only made these as a one-year model in the u.s it's kind of a cult classic here and there are companies that make big bore kits exhaust different carbs if you want to hop it up so um carburetor's been gone through again uh, actually we didn't rebuild the master cylinder we bought a new one it's a new front master cylinder so new chain new master cylinder new caswell tank seal kit uh it has pr the, the um Get fuel in this is pre-mix only so you have to mix the oil with the fuel we mixed it 40 to 1 uh, new petcock and again the gas tank cost me 250 dollars so we fully assembled the bike 
cleaned it, paint, but we also painted the entire frame on the bike and the swing arm and the foot pegs and the handlebars. We polished the wheels, the shocks and the headlight rank. We rang, we painted the gas tank. We put the new graphics on it. Total of 24 hours labor, which is what they wrote it up for. I'm willing to bet we got more than that into it because Billy worked on it for a few days and then uh, the manic mechanic worked on it and Ronnie worked on it and pretty much everybody got involved. So, but they wrote it up for 24 hours at $90 an hour plus $505 in parts. The total with tax came to $2,825. Um, so it, it added up pretty quick here, 2,800 bucks. Uh, that's the bad news. The good news is it was free. The bad news is that we got a, a large work order and $505 worth of parts. So, um, we're going to put it up with a reserve, uh, that's reasonable. Hopefully it goes to a good home. I hope we get our money back out of it because the intention was not to lose money. We got a staff here that, uh, the, the intention was to, I probably should have sold it as is for parts and made up better, but I couldn't resist the temptation of resurrecting this thing and going ripping down the street 53 miles an hour on the only six speed two stroke that uh, has ever been sold in 50cc that has ever been sold in the United States from Honda. Junior, I know you're riding this around this morning. You want to add anything about this thing? I know it handles like a motorcycle, not like a scooter. Yeah, I, I saw the work order and I didn't throw up in my mouth because I rode it before I saw it and uh, it was worth it, man. It was freaking worth it. So. It's not completely perfect. It's got a little bit of patina on it, on the rear, on the plastic, on, on the rear um, cowling right here, a couple scratches. Um, the, the lights don't work. We had to draw a line in the sand. We didn't want to keep going and have a, end up with a $3,500 work order. So we got it running and we're selling it as is. Does need the headlight. If you want to ride it at night, you're gonna to have to put a new headlight bulb and some maybe hook up the wiring. That's about it. If you have any questions, give us a call, 860-454-7024. All proceeds are going to the Kaplan Cycles and the Motorcycle Museum continuation fund. Thanks for watching. Hope it goes to a good home and God bless America. And God bless Secura Honda for building kick-ass bikes for us big kids.